Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Jersey Collection video. I already covered uh, seven teams. Last one was the Buffalo Sabres. They have a fantastic variety of jerseys. So do the LA Kings, who have all also already been covered. Today I'm covering the, the team which I think is in the top three of the jersey variety, together with Buffalo and LA. Today we're talking about the Vancouver Canucks. And if you're wondering about this t-shirt, yeah, this is a German punk band. Pretty cool one. I saw them the first time live at a concert when I was 14. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, but today let's talk about the Vancouver Canucks and their jerseys. And as always, I start off with the reverse retros. As the Canucks were ranked uh, ninth among uh, quality of reverse retros team-wise, with these two jerseys, which are both fantastic. I absolutely love the Gradient Fate jersey. You will see that again. Just wait for it later on in this video. Yeah, the Gradient Fate with the green and the navy blue, the Orca on top of it. This looks absolutely fantastic. Having green in jerseys incorporated is a really good thing. I absolutely love it. But Johnny Canuck is no slouch either. Uh, the second time in the history of the NHL that a team is putting a person on uh, the front crest of the jersey. The first one, of course, were the Islanders with their fishermen. But Johnny Canuck, he's absolutely fantastic. Also with the green, the maroon, and the little bit off-white striping here, the green color. These are both very, very good jerseys. And I have to thank the Vancouver Canucks for bringing us both of them in this two reverse retro series. This way, makes it easier for me later. But now let's get into the regular jerseys. Or are they still their regular jerseys? There's a lot of discussions among Canucks fans. Will they keep this or go to the skate? The spaghetti jersey, you will see that as well later. Or will they keep these two as their home in the way? The Vancouver Canucks with their Orca jerseys yeah, as well. There's green incorporated, that's wonderful. I like both of these jerseys quite a lot. Although on the white jersey, in case they would have reversed the colors on the shoulder patch. This would have brought a lot more contrast as yeah, you see the white shoulder patch here on the blue jersey. A blue shoulder patch on the white jersey would have been, yeah, I think a lot better, but yeah, whatever. The rest of these jerseys, I love the Orca logo, they are just wonderful. The color with the, the blue especially, this pops really. And the green incorporated, these are two very good jerseys. And this one, my Elias Pettersson. Let's see if he sticks around in Vancouver. I guess he will, but we should find out during this season. And the Canucks, they had two specialty jerseys uh, for their 50th anniversary. Where they went back to classical styles they had. One, of course, was the stick and rink with the ah, come on. <clears throat> 50th anniversary patch here on the top right hand side. Modernized version of the stick and ring. This jersey is also pretty nice. Nothing to nothing bad to say about that. Yeah, the modernized version of the stick and ring, and you can see the C for Canucks, the the rink, the, the hockey stick. This is pretty nice. We are all Canucks in the neckline. This is not bad. And for them to have the 50th anniversary patch, I had to get them from uh, Van Base, which is the Canucks team store. Like this one, which also has this patch. Uh, going back to the skate logo, which I think is also very nice with the red and the yellow. This is a pretty cool jersey and you will see that again pretty soon, just without the patch. As mentioned, the patch means that it came from Van Base. Okay, I do have three more of these skate jerseys. Let's take these two. This is the uh, anniversary jersey as well, just without the patch. So it did not come from Ben Base, it came from Ben H Sports. And then here is the new skate jersey. The difference is um, not that major. The striping is different. And uh, on the logo itself, yeah, there's on the new one, no white behind the Canucks word mark here. And this, of course, as a captain's jersey, this is my Bo Horvat, so it's a heritage jersey now. I think they are both pretty nice. Um, if I have to prefer one, I would pick uh, I would pick this one here. But the new one is not bad either. A little bit of these texture structure now here in the stripes. This is a pretty cool jersey, and I think pretty close to the the elderly one. And it's definitely better than this one, the final skate jersey that I have. The Adidas team 
Where is it? Yeah, Adidas Team Classic. So what do you think about these two jerseys as home and away for the Vancouver Canucks? Let me know in the comment section below. Should they go with these or should they stick with the Orca? Or do something completely different? Take a stick and ring? Or uh, one of the models you're about to see? Great variety with the Canucks. As mentioned, let's go to this one next. This was a specialty jersey uh, for the Heritage Classic game in uh, 2014. Yeah, and for some people, this is an absolute grail of a jersey. I think I got it from Van City Sports. Yeah, I think it was Van City Sports. Also up in Vancouver. The Millionaire's version, the Heritage Classic jersey for 2014. The maroon color. I love the striping down the sleeves. Yeah, I also like the barber pole jersey. Wait for the Montreal video. You will see an original barber pole jersey. But here the Vancouver bird mark in the V. This looks pretty, pretty good. And also Reebok did, surely did not like that, but the off-white stripe here at the bottom, this is a rarity with Reebok jerseys. Let's go to, yeah, let's take these next. Prior to Reebok, so in the CCM era, uh, I think this was for the Canucks, the Marc Messier era, where he was there for two years, did not play that good, made a lot of money. And wearing these jerseys, I think this was the first blush of the Orca in the white version with these maroon, blue, silver and navy striping. And here you have the blue, the silver and the maroon. These two jerseys, yeah, the road version here, this has, sorry, the home version. At this time, the white one was the home version, has the stick and ring as the shoulder patch. The blue version does not have a shoulder patch. I don't know if I missed it or it fell off. I don't know. Anyway, these two jerseys, the original Orcas from the Vancouver Canucks, they are not bad either. Not to go back to them, but good point in their history. Like I think about this one. Yeah, you've seen the new model of this jersey before, the Gradient Fate. No, I will, I will leave it up there. Gradient Fate jersey, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know how someone could think this is ugly or is it's so ugly that it's cool again. I like this jersey. Maroon shoulders, navy blue fading back into maroon. Not bad. Absolutely not bad. And it has a Canucks place shoulder patch on it, which is not bad either. Which leaves two more jerseys. This one was pretty nice. This is a CCM vintage of the original skate jersey. Yeah, there's one more skate, so I got no, 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 no. five skate jerseys. Oh my God. I have to be a skate maniac. Uh, this one uh, in the yellow, I think this works with a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> with a little bit of orange, a little bit of black. And yeah, here on the shoulders, of course, you have this uh, V style here on the shoulders, which is of course reminiscent to the Flying V itself. This one, the Flying V, one of the ugliest jerseys in the history of the NHL. Maybe it worked for the Canucks. They went to the Stanley Cup final once wearing this jersey because all the teams were laughing all the time. Hey guys, how ridiculous do you look like? Maybe. Yeah, the Flying V, parts of, part of Vancouver Canucks history. I got this, I think, from Van City Sports and this one, I think, as well. Yeah, store from Vancouver has to have a lot of Canucks jerseys. And yeah, this concludes the pretty long, pretty extensive part of my jersey collection, the Vancouver Canucks. Let me know in the comment section below, which is your favorite Canucks jersey? What do you think they should use as their home and away? Should they stay with the Orca? Should they go to the skate? Should they go back to the stick and ring? I'm happy to read your thoughts about that. Okay, that was the Vancouver Canucks. Up next will be the New Jersey Devils. They were 10th on the list of my reverse retro ranking, my combined reverse retro team ranking. I think they have very good jerseys. I will not include the past. Maybe I will wear one of the past jerseys of the New Jersey Devils organization in the next video because there is a choice. You can go with the Kansas City Scouts. I don't have one of these jerseys, unfortunately. Or you could go with the Colorado Rockies. There I do have something. So look out for the New Jersey Devils in the next Jersey Collection video. 
But now that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you soon for the next part of the Jersey Collection or some other hockey talk maybe in front before that. Thanks again. Have a good time. Goodbye.